the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jones is two years the elder. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, the Otto the Machina. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a UFC dude fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, he is the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Start of round one, I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe it's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range and even start to think about striking. Right hand punch from the clinch. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Three minutes to go here, round one. Oh, nice right hand. Back to the left hand now, unable to get it. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain the dominant position. That happened. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice jab. Under two minutes to go. kick now that one's no good <laughs> stuffs that takedown attempt without issue huge 
huge kick to the leg. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Storm shot blocked by Machida. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Machine. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's looking to land the right just out of range. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, pretty good combination there by John Jones. We'll see the extent to which he can follow it up here. He's landing in bunches tonight. He, you know, this guy's from a great fighting family, right? Professional football players and both of his brothers. Big athletic father. I mean, so many different reasons why John Jones is the guy that he is today. Visibly limping here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice leg kick there by Machida. Beautiful punch. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. He's throwing every part of himself. Oh! Wow! Oh! So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, here we go with 
with this third round of this championship fight. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh! He needs to start looking the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Spinning back fist. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big kick land. Just over three minutes to go now. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. just when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 41 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Leo the Dragon Machine. Well, DC, I don't know if you agree, but for me, there are few things as exciting in this sport as when we crown a new UFC champion and we got a new light heavyweight king tonight. Man, I don't know if there's anything that excites the fans, that excites the masses more than a new guy getting the belt.